Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, model this OB-10 Bronco. And it's uh, another good looking model. It's one of my favorite airplanes and um, I have been um, wanting to model this in Fusion for a while and um, I just got, a, got around to doing it. So um, here it is. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I need to bring in some pictures of this. I come up here to insert canvas, insert from my computer, and um, it's a screenshot, 119, open that. This is going to be side view. Drag this out. And click OK. Come over here to Canvas, click this, change this to side. Then I'm going to right click on this and calibrate. And I'm going to measure from the nose to back here and I want that to be um, um, one one meter or a thousand millimeters scroll in turn my origin back on and align this this picture here to this origin so right click on side and click Edit Canvas. And line that up there. OK. Then I'm going to click here, insert again, canvas, and this is going to be the top view. And I want this on this plane. Drag this out. Rotate this 90 degrees. I might have to rotate. No, that's uh, fine. OK. Click OK. Change this to top. Right click on it. Click Calibrate. Measure from here to here and a thousand millimeters. Come back to the top, right click, edit canvas, and align the nose up. I need to rotate this. That's too much. Try two. Try one degree. Try two. Okay, and that's it.
and click OK. The top and the side. And I have to put in one more, the, the front. And I'll put this one in here the same way like I did the other two. Click OK, change this to front. Right click on this and calibrate. Point here to here, thousand millimeters. Then right click on the front and edit canvas. Move this down to line it up with the origin. Okay, now all our um, pictures are in. Now my other videos, I've been um, pretty much using cylinders to model the jets and things. And the last one that I did with the RV9, I showed you guys how to use that, um, the cube or the box how to model um, a more squarish type body. In this OV-10, this intersection is easier to do with a box also. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, model this using the box. And I'm going to use a box for the, um, the whole airplane, even the, um, the booms here as well. So come up here to uh, create form. And I want to create it on um, a box on this plane here. And this is the back of the airplane right here. So I'm going to drag this out to here. And I'm going to add some more height faces. And click OK. I'm going to bring down the um, opacity on this body here. And go ahead and um, get rid of these four back here. And to do that, just click one and then hold the control um, key down and click on the other three. And right click and select delete. And we do the same thing for the front. Now this model here, it may not look hard to model, but there's some tricky things to it. So just be aware of that.
and just sort of follow the shapes, the outline of this um, OB-10. And the more you guys uh, model these planes and stuff like that, the you'll get much, much better at it. And um, be able to do quite a bit. And some of you guys out there, if you're wondering which version of this um, Fusion 360 that I'm using, this is just a free version. And I've um, used it on everything I've um, showed you guys how to model. Uh, just change here to box form. Line some things up. And if you're wondering how I went from box mode, it's just um, Alt-1 and Alt-3 would bring you back to the um, what you're using before. Smooth. Okay. I'm going to add a couple more edges. Looks like I need to add a couple. Look at the top here. Right. 
move this back. And I'm going to place um, an edge right here. Modify, insert edge, and it put it there and change this to exact and click OK. Now that looks better. Look at that round shape. Okay, turn these bodies off and take a look at this. Take a look at this in front. I can see the sides need to come in a little. And let's see what we have here. Uh, click OK, finish form. And pass these back up. Turn off the canvas. And that's our shape so far. It's looking pretty good. So this side needs to come in a little more. Come back down here, right click, and edit. Also what I'm gonna do is just um, make this front more round.
Okay, I'm going to have to put another line in here. An edge. I like I said before, this is um, this thing looks easy to model, but it, it um, it's got some tricky parts to it. All right, turn the canvases back on. See what we got. Let's um, go ahead and see about closing this back end up here. And modify and fill hole. Turn it to the side and see what it looks. Okay. That's the exact shape we want. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And before I do that to the front here, I want to make sure everything looks good. And this needs to come in, like I said, um, a little more into the on the side. So I'll do that too. Okay. It's looking pretty good here. Now I'm going to close the front up. Modify, fill hole. Now that shape does not look right. So come over here and try fill star. That does not right. Then collapse. And that doesn't look that great either, but um, give it a shot.
Okay. That's pretty much it for the um, this body here. And turn the canvases off so I can take a good look at this. The nose is not right yet. So we'll come over here, edit, do some more editing. Okay, that's better. See what we have from the top. But now it needs to come out wider. Not a problem. There we go, much better. And that's the shape we need there. As you can see, um, just doing this intersection is sort of tricky. It's not difficult, it's just that you have to pay a lot of attention to the little details and stuff. And um, I only brought out one side over here, um, or moved one side in, I didn't move the other side in. So what I'm gonna do now is just split this in half because I'm pretty much done with this. Now, when you guys are modeling this, um, keep working on this fuselage until you feel that it's the correct shape and just keep doing how I was doing it and um, until you feel that it's the um, correct shape. And um, right now, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably about 85% um, correct. And if I had an actual model here in front of me, I could look at it even more and um, get it even more, but right now, this is to um, a, a really good start for this. So now I'm just going to split this in half. So come up here, modify, split body. This is the body. Split lines this. Click OK. Now this is split in half. This body over here. I'm going to turn this off. And we have this. Now, um, this is not a hollow body. As you can see, it's a, um, it's a solid. And the reason it became a solid, because I um, closed these holes up on the back of it. So I turned it into a, um, a solid body. Then I'm going to just uh, mirror this. So come here to create, mirror this, and the plane is this and join together and click OK. Now we have that. We can even do some more inspecting of it and do um, zebra analysis on it. Yeah. 
Okay. This lets me know this is going in. Right here, it's in. And go ahead and click cancel. Okay. Turn the canvases back on. And I'm just going to split this. So come up here to create sketch on this plane. And I'm going to use fit point spline. Turn these bodies off. Okay, finish sketch. Turn the bodies back on. Modify, split body. This is the body to split. And the splitting tool is this. And we click OK. We've got that now. and label this fuselage. This body three is a fuselage. And this is a canopy. Body two is a canopy. Turn the canvases back on here. And now what I'm going to do is one of the booms. So turn the bodies off. And what I need to do is put an offset plane right here. So I come up here to construct offset plane. And move this. Right there. I want to create a sketch on this plane. But first, let me finish this. Um, um, use form instead. And come over here. And it drew it on a wrong plane, so I'll just go ahead and cancel that and finish this. All right, make sure I do this correct. Plane turned off, okay. Come up here to create form box on this plane here. Well, I could have moved that back, moved it, but um, I'd rather just do it this way. And drag this all the way back.
and add height faces. And click OK. And what we did last time, we got rid of the back four and the front four, same thing. front. And delete. Now we start shaping this. Now, this boom is not difficult to do like the, um, the, um, the main fuselage there. There's just some tricky areas on that, the uh, main fuselage. And you just keep working this until um, you get the nice shape that you want. And this needs to go. Now, if you notice in my, um, all my videos that so far the models that I have been showing you guys how to, um, how to do infusion, I've been, um, been using um, forms for it. And the reason I use forms is because sometimes some of the models require a lot of formers to get the proper shape. And a lot of times... The stuff you find online doesn't have enough formers to give you a really good shape. But there are some good ones out there, too. And there are a lot of things that you can do for workarounds. But, um, um, but for me, I find using forms um, easier to model with. And some people find surface modeling easier to work with, too. So um, it just depends on um, what you like doing and what works best for you. And you can actually um, use a combination of surface modeling and form modeling also.
And if you guys notice, um, modeling this particular model takes a lot of time. And in my opinion right now, this um, is the most complicated model I've sh um, shown you guys how to model up to now. And go ahead and um, click OK. Go ahead and uh, finish form here and see what we have. Turn the canvases off. OK. And this is what we got so far. I turn the body off here and turn the um, canvases back on. And I'm going to do the wing here. Since this is a straight wing and this is the, the shape of the wing, I'm just going to draw this and um, use it as the wing. So I want to create a sketch on this plane here. Come up to fit point spline. Same thing for the bottom. And if you notice, um, I didn't um, do the, um, not drawing this wing like I did my other ones because this is the best way to do this. It's the most simplistic. Just drawing this shape. And since like the wing is just straight across, um, there's no need to um, um, draw lines and all the stuff like that. Then just go ahead and finish sketch and extrude this plane here, and it's going to be a new body. And turn the bodies on, set this to new body, and pull this out to there. That's too much. Change this. Okay, 80. And click OK. Turn the canvases off. 
Okay, here's what we got so far. And, um, and this is going to do it for this video. And because there's more work I got to do, I've got to put the, um, the vertical stab and the horizontal on here and make this round and make, um, and close this out in the back. And then once that's all done, then I'm just going to mirror this and the wing over to the other side. And the same thing back for the vertical stab and everything. And I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, so um, we're running up time right now. I don't want to waste you guys' time. But um, if you want to um, work on this more, go ahead and work on it. And um, if you have any questions about it before I um, post a second video on finishing this up, just go ahead and um, put them down in the comments. Or... Um, um, send me a message over on Facebook, or um, the best thing to do, if you can, is just join my Patreon site, and um, I show you how to do all this stuff, and you have the files and everything available to you if um, you want this stuff, too. So, um, yeah, have a look at my Patreon site. So my Facebook, um, um, there will be a link to my Facebook and my Patreon site down below also. And um, But, yeah. Um, like I said, this model is a little tricky. The fuselage was just a little tricky, but um, it's no big deal. And so next, the next video, I'm going to show you how to finish this um, OV-10 up. We're going to do more of the canopy, make this round, um, close up off the back here, do the spinner, um, antennas, and things like that to make it look um, uh, like the real thing. So that's going to do it for this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.